Aries, what's up? Happy holidays, bitch. This month for you looks like big changes with your work situation. Again, it looks like you're really trying to figure out what team you want to be included in. Because there's some people here who I think just don't value you properly or don't really like respect your work or respect your vision or something. And you're like, bitch, I'm trying to find my team. I'm trying to find my group, my support, because that is an amazing system when you're trying to change the world or level up. We have an ace of wands here. Ace of Wands, so I really think that you're going to have an opportunity to expand in new ways. You have new opportunity for money, for um, creativity. This is fire also, so I think now because it's Sagittarius season, oh, I think it's because it's Sag uh, Sagittarius season, it means it's a fire season, so you will feel more strength because it's a fire sign, just like you. So we've got this vibe here. But then beside it, we've got the Nine of Cups reverse. So this Page of Wands, Page of Wands, is like, I'm ready. I want to jump, but I think I'm still um, trying to learn something new or maybe study something or um, develop a skill set. Um, we've got the full reverse. So I see a new start, a new chapter, a new journey, but it's delayed. So like, okay, this fucking tree is gas to go, I guess. You know what? It's like... The, lo the last plan didn't work. The last plan, the last plan didn't work. So now we let it go. Now we're establishing a new cycle. With an Ace of Wands, you're going to feel ready to jump into something new. But with the Seven of Coins here reversed, Seven of Coins here reversed, I think you don't have the patience. An Aries not patient, that is crazy, right? <laughs> no, it's just also this energy of like, You've invested your time, energy, or money into a cycle, but now you're noticing like, I don't want to continue doing this because it's just not benefiting me how I thought, like before I thought, oh, this is going to be really good for me and it's awesome. But now I'm like, Ugh, I don't know about that. So with the seven of coins here, don't become impatient. Like make sure you find more patience. You just go with the flow, but like you got new love, new partnerships, new connections coming through here. Like the lover's card, hello. Lovers, lovers card could be collaborating or partnering up with a Gemini. This is new love for some of you for sure, new connections, new working relationships and advice to be received. So if you are sitting down with maybe some of you want to hire a consultant or chat with someone who they are an expert and they can help you figure out how to establish something better, I think that would be amazing for you. So like this lovers card, it's all about new connections. It's new connections. It's new work agreements, arrangements, negotiations, etc. So this is a really amazing connection. And this is from the universe because it's major arcana. So this is the universe sending you someone new to help. Or it could be someone from the past, but now we're reconnecting with them. Okay. I've got nine of wands reverse, the king of wands reverse. There's an energy here of like someone just doesn't want to be involved or you're noticing wow I don't have the passion or the drive to work with this person or in this situation any longer Some of you for sure could be um, letting go of another Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius But it looks like someone that you were dealing with up until now Maybe they were getting you all excited about something and now you're just like This person does not want to be involved or they're not proving it to me. So like, I'm just going to go. Or maybe you are like, I don't want to be working with this person or involved with this person because it, because it looks like, like the spark, it's like the spark just went out and now you're like, what the fuck? Well, don't stress because you have another opportunity. Okay. You've got another fucking opportunity here, girl, boy, whatever, girl, boy, person, whatever. I don't, I don't care to identify you. That is your decision. But a knight of cups, sorry, a knight of cups, this is a new opportunity for love, growth, connection. This is creativity. So like, I think if you're um, maybe getting invited to some sort of new opportunity, like really commit to it, really accept the advice and the interaction and the negotiation and try to figure out how you can actually establish something from this connection. Okay, we've got, yeah, it's like, what is the self doubt here? 
Aries, you've been struggling with self-doubt for a while. Because I've been seeing that come up again and again and again. And that is connected to an old program in the back of your mind that is related to scarcity. Maybe you think you don't deserve good things or you don't deserve money or you don't deserve, you know, proper relationships or connections or whatever. But like that energy has to go. You have to let it go because it's like, it's not serving you. It's not helping you. And like with this eight of wands here reverse, seven of swords here reverse, Jesus. And you've got the emperor here reverse. Some of you are dealing with people who are a little bit uh, manipulative. I'm also, I'm seeing the letter M, L, C, R, enough. Um, but this is about stopping communication with them. There's a number seven and nine also. Um, this emperor energy is itself Aries. That is Aries energy. So when I see this reverse First, drop control, okay? I know an Aries loves to be in control, but you can't control everything. So stop trying, okay? Second thing, you need to make sure if you're interacting with another person and you feel like, ooh, something about this just feels wrong, then follow that. Don't say, oh, my internal guidance, my internal recommendation is saying avoid this person, but I'm not going to accept advice because I'm an Aries. <laughs> it's just like, no, accept that, okay? And draw a fucking boundary there. King of Swords, establish a boundary and say no. Or if you want something from someone, you have to ask, you have to establish how you're going to connect with this person, how you're going to interact with them. There's there's a lot of energy here about clarity. Clarity with your relationships, clarity with your vision, clarity with your um, your goals, how you're spending money, how you want to be spending money, how you want to be making money. It's clarity with how you spend your money, how you make your money, how you establish more money coming in. There's also more opportunities, how you're using your time, your energy, your resources. I think you really need to establish new routines, new routines, because you've got this here. You've got the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is all about self-love, um, compassion. This is about prioritizing yourself and your own needs up here, and then other people can be down here. But you can't help other people if you're not helping yourself first because you don't have the energy to help them. So like, there's a lot of like self-assessment trying to figure out, okay, what do I really wanna be doing? How do I wanna spend my time and energy? And how do I establish a new belief system? Meaning, I know that if I work for this, I deserve that and it will come, and I will be patient. Second to that, how do I establish a new routine, a new cycle that will help me find what I want? Because like you can't just establish a new intention and have this vision, but you don't do the work that's in line with that. Because if you're like lazy or you're not wanting to do something or other people, maybe the universe is sending you people, the universe is bringing you advice and then you just ignore it. Like that's not helping. So it's like, stop obsessing. There's this weird energy about obsessing about the future or obsessing about how this is gonna happen or when this will happen. Or it's like eh, obsessing about maybe partnerships or collaborations or um, love. Where's this going? Where's this going? You're not giving the situation enough space to breathe. It's like you wanna control it or you want the answer or you want the clarity, but you need to clarify what you want first. That clarity you give to the universe, okay? You just tell the universe what you want, how you see your life looking, you know, in six months from now. So this is what I want, okay? I'm gonna give that to you. Now I'm gonna be patient and I'm not going to try to force it, but it's like you have a little bit of this vision and then you think that you can force something to make it happen faster. It doesn't work like that. It's like, like just chill, slow down, slow down. You've got the world card here, like this bitch, she knows exactly 
That bitch knows what's up. She knows what she's doing. She knows that when she asks, the universe will deliver. She just needs to be patient. She just needs to chill. This is new journeys, new chapters. Some of you um, travel for sure. But like with the page of swords here reverse, you don't have all the information. You don't have all of the answers. You don't have all of the messages that you want. Also, some of you may be um, checking up on other people. You want to see what they're doing. It's like, just ignore that. Or other people are trying to get in contact with you. Other people are trying to figure out what you're up to because they want to be involved with the fucking Aries vibe. But you're just like, no, 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 no. I can't focus my time, energy, money with you. I can't. I need to focus on myself. I need to focus on my vision and trusting that. And then I need to take a break, slow down and wait for the universe to bring it when it's ready. I can't force amazing things to happen because they won't happen that way. They won't happen. You will fuck it up. So stop trying to control everything and just wait. Okay. Santa says, wait, the gifts will come. Okay. Bad girl. You not even boy. Okay. Oh, bitch. You got a fucking page of cups here and a ton of cups. These are very different energies. Okay. Which, which do you prefer? Do you prefer to focus on the easy, fast answer or um, like, like don't let people trick you. Don't um, accept less than you deserve. Don't accept, um, <laughs> People who are trying to distract you, this is distraction, okay? Don't focus on distraction. Knight of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. Don't force something. Don't rush something. If you think, oh, that looks really good. I think if I do this now, this will get my vision to happen. It's like, okay, I have this goal. How do I get there? I'm patient. I ask and it will come. And yes, a little bit every day is fine. Work, 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 boom, boom, boom. That's fine. But don't think that just because you establish this vision <coughs> today, if you force something tomorrow, it's going to connect. <coughs> what is that about? Something in the throat. Shocker for you. <coughs> Do you need to like sit down and have a serious conversation with someone? Someone for sure. Um, I'm getting Michael for sure. Needs to do that. Whew. But like, if you learn to slow down, if you learn to trust, if you learn to just let things unfold and happen in the natural way, you will find more joy, more happiness. This is also finding new partnerships, collaborations. Again, love, love, deep connections. With the Ten of Cups, this is feeling closer to the family. Um, oh, beautiful, beautiful, fucking beautiful. This is literally saying slow down and wait. You've got an Ace of Cups coming. This is saying slow down and wait. You have an Ace of Cups here. This is new commitments, new offers, creativity, love, etc. You've got the hangman, which is literally transformation, change and transformation. You've also got the Ace of Cups with the Six of Coins. You will get some money coming through. You will probably need to budget something, so be careful because I think you're going to have an opportunity to expand something, but if you don't properly use all of your resources, then maybe it's not going to work as easy. So make sure that you are like budgeting your time, energy, and money properly moving forward. But like break free from these old thoughts. You have these self-limiting beliefs and you got a fucking ace of coins here, bitch. You have opportunity, expansion, and money trying to come to you, trying to come to you, but you are focused on the lack or you are focused on what's not working or you're stubborn or you're dealing with other people who are stubborn themselves and they're not letting you flourish and expand. So it's like, be very careful about who you are interacting with this month, okay? Focus on yourself, your priorities, because you have an ace of coins, an ace of cups, you have new offers, love, work, um, new expectations you can set for yourself and be careful. Eight of cups reverse someone from the past, maybe coming back around or old emotions triggering you thinking that you don't deserve what you really deserve. So like let the universe give you everything you want because it will come, but not if you're obsessing and thinking about the wrong things, the lack, the scarcity, etc. You will attract more of that if you focus on it. 
okay? Take the Full Moon Eclipse Workshop. The link is in my bio. I will help you clear all of this bullshit energy that doesn't serve you. Um, please, if you like this, tag your friends, share it on your Instagram story. You can leave a tip if you want, whatever. I love you.